Whether you're looking to add some greenery to your balcony, patio, or backyard, a planter box is a versatile and attractive option. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of constructing your own planter box, from selecting the right materials to planting and maintenance tips. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have all the knowledge you need to create a beautiful and functional planter box to enhance your outdoor space. To build a planter box, you will need the following materials. Firstly, consider the wood you'll use. Opt for a rot-resistant wood species, such as cedar, redwood, or cypress for longevity. It's advisable to avoid treated lumber, especially if you plan to grow edible plants, as it may contain chemicals harmful to plants. Next, you'll need screws or nails to assemble the planter box. Choose corrosion-resistant options to withstand outdoor conditions. Stainless steel or galvanized hardware is ideal as it prevents rust in moist environments. A drill and drill bits are essential tools for the construction process. You'll use the drill to make pilot holes and drive screws or nails into the wood. Ensure you have appropriate drill bits for your chosen fasteners. Accurate measurements are crucial, so you'll need a measuring tape and square. Use the measuring tape to ensure precision and the square to guarantee that corners are square and even. A saw is necessary for cutting the wood to the desired lengths for the planter box components. A circular saw or a miter saw is suitable for cutting straight lines, while a jigsaw may be necessary for curved or angled cuts. To protect the wood and prevent soil from escaping, line the interior of the planter box with landscape fabric or a plastic liner. This step will help prolong the lifespan of the wood and maintain the integrity of the structure. Before diving into the construction process, it's crucial to spend some time planning and designing your planter box. Here are some key considerations to keep in mind. Planning the dimensions and design of your planter box is essential for ensuring its functionality and aesthetic appeal. By carefully considering your needs and preferences up front, you can avoid potential issues during the construction phase and create a planter box that meets your requirements. When planning your planter box, think about the size, shape, and style that will best suit your space and gardening goals. Consider factors such as available space, the types of plants you want to grow, and your aesthetic preferences. For example, if you have limited space, you may opt for a smaller, space-saving design, while larger outdoor areas may accommodate larger or more elaborate planter boxes. Your planter box should complement the existing design and style of your home or garden. Think about the materials, colors, and finishes that will harmonize with your outdoor environment. Whether you prefer a rustic, traditional, or modern look, choose a design that enhances the overall appeal of your space. When you have your materials ready, begin by cutting the wood to the desired lengths according to your planter box design. Use a saw to make precise cuts, ensuring all pieces are uniform in size. When determining the measurements for your planter box, consider the following factors. Most planter boxes are at least 8 to 12 inches deep to accommodate the root systems of most plants. However, deeper boxes may be necessary for plants with extensive root systems or for growing vegetables like carrots or potatoes. The width and length of your planter box will depend on the available space and the number of plants you wish to grow. Consider leaving enough space between plants for them to grow and spread comfortably. A width of 18 to 36 inches is common for medium-sized planter boxes, but adjust according to your space and needs. The height of the planter box is often a matter of personal preference and accessibility. Elevated planter boxes may be easier to tend to, especially for individuals with mobility issues. However, keep in mind that taller boxes may require more soil and can be heavier to move. Leave enough space between plants to ensure adequate air circulation and prevent overcrowding. Follow spacing recommendations for the specific plants you intend to grow, as some may require more room than others. Consider the overall size of your planter box in relation to the space where it will be placed. Ensure it fits comfortably without obstructing walkways or other elements of your outdoor area. Start by constructing the frame of the planter box. Lay out the bottom piece and attach the side pieces to it using screws or nails. Make sure the corners are square and the pieces are securely fastened. To reinforce the structure, consider adding corner braces at each corner of the planter box. These can be simple L-shaped brackets or diagonal braces to provide additional stability. Once the frame is assembled, attach the bottom piece to create a solid base for the planter box. Secure it in place with screws or nails, ensuring it sits flush with the edges of the frame. To ensure proper drainage and prevent water from pooling in your planter box, it's crucial to drill drainage holes in the bottom piece. 
These holes serve as outlets for excess water to escape, which is essential for maintaining healthy plants and preventing issues such as root rot and waterlogging of the soil. When drilling drainage holes, consider the size and number of holes needed based on the dimensions of your planter box and the type of plants you intend to grow. Generally, larger planter boxes may require more drainage holes to ensure adequate water drainage. The placement of the drainage holes is also important. Spread them evenly across the bottom of the planter box to allow for uniform drainage. Avoid clustering the holes in one area, as this can result in uneven water distribution and potential water buildup in other areas of the planter box. Additionally, it's essential to use a drill bit suitable for the material of your planter box. For wooden planter boxes, use a drill bit designed for wood to ensure clean, precise holes without splintering or damaging the wood. Before drilling, mark the locations of the drainage holes on the bottom piece of the planter box. Space the holes evenly to promote efficient drainage throughout the soil. Then, carefully drill holes at each marked location, ensuring that they penetrate through the bottom piece completely. Once the drainage holes are drilled, inspect the planter box to ensure that there are no obstructions blocking the holes. Clear away any wood shavings or debris to allow for unimpeded water flow. By drilling drainage holes in the bottom of your planter box, you can effectively prevent water from pooling and ensure proper drainage, creating a healthy growing environment for your plants. Before filling your planter box with soil, it's essential to take steps to protect the wood and ensure proper drainage. One common method is to line the interior of the planter box with landscape fabric or a plastic liner. Landscape fabric serves as a barrier between the soil and the wood, helping to prevent moisture from seeping into the wood and causing rot or decay. It also helps to keep the soil contained within the planter box, reducing the risk of erosion and soil loss. Additionally, landscape fabric allows for adequate drainage, allowing excess water to drain away while retaining moisture within the soil. Alternatively, a plastic liner can also be used to line the interior of the planter box. A plastic liner provides a waterproof barrier that effectively prevents moisture from reaching the wood. It also helps to contain the soil and prevent it from leaking out through any small gaps or cracks in the wood. When lining your planter box, ensure that the fabric or liner extends up the sides and overlaps at the top to create a watertight seal. Secure the fabric or liner in place using staples or adhesive making sure to cover all interior surfaces of the planter box. Before adding soil to the planter box, make sure to puncture the fabric or liner in several places to allow for drainage. This will prevent water from pooling at the bottom of the planter box and ensure that excess moisture can drain away freely. By lining the interior of your planter box with landscape fabric or a plastic liner, you can help protect the wood from moisture damage and ensure proper drainage, creating an ideal environment for your plants to thrive. Surface treatment is an essential consideration for planter boxes, particularly those made from wood, as they are susceptible to moisture damage and weathering over time. Applying a protective surface treatment can significantly enhance the durability and longevity of the planter box. For wooden planter boxes, one of the most common surface treatments is the application of a weatherproof sealant or paint. A weatherproof sealant creates a protective barrier on the surface of the wood, preventing moisture from penetrating and causing rot or decay. It also helps to protect the wood from UV rays, which can cause fading and discoloration over time. Additionally, a sealant can help to minimize warping, splitting, and cracking of the wood, especially in outdoor environments where the planter box is exposed to varying weather conditions. Paint is another option for surface treatment, offering both protection and decorative appeal. Exterior grade paint is designed to withstand outdoor conditions and provides a colorful finish that can complement the aesthetic of your garden or outdoor space. When choosing paint for your planter box, opt for a high quality outdoor paint that is specifically formulated for use on wood surfaces. Make sure to apply multiple coats for maximum durability and longevity. Regardless of the surface treatment chosen, proper preparation of the wood surface is essential to ensure effective adhesion and coverage. Before applying any sealant or paint, sand the surface of the wood to smooth out any rough spots and remove any existing finish or debris. Clean the surface thoroughly to remove dust, dirt, and other contaminants that may interfere with adhesion. Once the surface is properly prepared, apply the chosen surface treatment according to the manufacturer's instructions, making sure to coat all exposed surfaces, including the interior of the planter box. 
allow adequate drying time between coats and consider applying multiple coats for added protection. Regular maintenance of the surface treatment is also important to ensure continued protection and longevity of the planter box. Inspect the surface periodically for signs of wear or damage, and reapply sealant or paint as needed to maintain optimal protection against moisture and weathering. With proper surface treatment and maintenance, your wooden planter box can remain a beautiful and functional addition to your outdoor space for years to come. Building a planter box is a rewarding project that allows you to customize your outdoor space and grow beautiful plants or vegetables. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can create a sturdy and attractive planter box that suits your needs and complements your home or garden. Remember to consider factors such as materials, dimensions, and drainage to ensure the success of your planter box project.